The Mercedes-Benz E-Class defines the midsize luxury sedan segment alongside the BMW 5 Series. Now, the Benz is getting a complete overhaul for the 2024 model year. The new car represents a step toward electrification, with Mercedes EQ-like styling, a fully updated infotainment system with giant screens, and more interior space. Mercedes also gave the car a powerful new computing system that relies more on software than hardware and combines all processing into one unit, which the automaker says speeds up tech functions and allows the installation of third-party apps. So let's look at 9 reasons why you should buy the 2024 Mercedes-Benz E-Class. While there are certain visual similarities to their fully electric cars, such as the new E-Class's black trim along the headlights and grille, this has been the most significant change since its 2016 iteration. The body itself is a few inches wider than the 2023 Mercedes-Benz E-Class, with a longer wheelbase and improved interior space. For now, the company has introduced two different models of the new Mercedes-Benz E-Class, the E350 and the E450. At a closer look, the new E-Class AMG line has star-shaped monogram-like designs on its taillights and the grille, surrounded by chrome and a black frame. The exclusive line, however, retains the classic upright Mercedes logo on the hood of the car, and the sensor plates are more visible with a simplistic chrome grille design. The former slightly portrays a less imposing figure and leans toward a sporty, performance-driven aesthetic. Conversely, the latter may paint a picture of an executive being driven rather than having the executive doing the actual driving. Either way, the new E-Class makes for an enticing choice. Both the new Mercedes-Benz E-Class E350 model and the E450 model are paired with a 23 horsepower, 48 volt electric motor. Technically, the new E-Class can be categorized as a mild hybrid car and is essentially a combustion-powered vehicle compared to well-balanced hybrids already in the market. Mercedes is several years away from making the switch to fully-fledged EVs permanent. Now that the hybrid function has been introduced to the new E-Class, fuel economy and concerns over miles per gallon will surely improve going forward. The new E-Class has completely changed the interior compared to its predecessor, from its comfort and space to its many advanced features. What hasn't changed is the focus on the quality of comfort. The space is generous with premium materials, as expected, to match the characteristics of the E-Class exterior. One of the many technological advancements to the new Mercedes-Benz E-Class is a new comfort feature that provides sounds that can soothe one's experience and adjust massage settings, lights, and scents. The E350 houses a 225 horsepower turbocharged 2.0 liter inline four engine, while the E450 is understandably a huge step up with a 375 horsepower inline six. The all wheel drive E Class is connected to a nine speed automatic transmission. The company is slated to have variations of the E Class powertrain in the near future, however, it's been reserved for other regions like Europe. Although, Mercedes has confirmed there will be a wagon variant of the E-Class in the near future, which will offer similar powertrain options. The most significant change to the new E-Class is its robust implementation of technology that can easily steal the thunder away from its mild hybrid powertrain. Apart from the interactive dashboard, the car's technology package features a multi-link suspension, optional air suspension, adaptive dampers, load leveling functions based on the road surface, and rear wheel steering to make the new Mercedes-Benz E-Class a standout with greater agility at lower speeds. With a couple of more upgrades, you can add on active steering with lane centering and automatic lane changes.
Mercedes has gone the extra mile to change the design details of the new E-Class and make life easier for the driver. While they haven't fully incorporated the new AI technology by Mercedes, they've dabbled in it with the new E-Class. For a more relaxing driving experience, the car is programmed to pay attention to the driver's routines or habits. For example, if you ask the car for directions to a specific location and play music on a daily basis, over time, the car will automatically initiate these steps the next time you head out, saving you the hassle of speaking or pushing buttons each and every day. The new E-Class provides the new Super Screen, a small step down from the Mercedes Hyperscreen in the EQS sedan, which is actually a good thing. There seems to be the right amount of screen real estate for both drivers and passengers. The screen itself feels like a large smartphone with familiar tiles and icons to navigate through. Mercedes aimed to further improve the functionality for drivers as there is a new eye tracking camera that can dim the screen to help the driver from being distracted. In addition, if the passenger up front is absent, the screen turns into a decorative space, helping the driver to focus on what's straight ahead. Inside, the new Mercedes-Benz E-Class comes alive, packed with features that heighten the engagement factor for nearly all the human senses. The entire interface of the new E-Class is media-heavy, emphasizes relaxation and productivity, and delivers information through sounds, visuals, and haptic feedback on both the seats and steering wheel. For the years, 17 speakers with four transducers and ambient lighting match the beat of the audio being played. It doesn't stop there. If you connect a wearable, the car will be enabled to measure your heart rate and provide the right type of massage and audio settings you might need the most. For some, this might seem like an odd addition to the new E-Class, but now the standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are accompanied by the adoption of the new MBUX system. This allows drivers and passengers to access TikTok, Angry Birds, WebEx, Zoom, and the Vivaldi web browser. Video calls are now possible with the car's selfie video camera perched right above the super screen. For the time being, apps like Zoom can only be utilized while the car is parked. Adding to the fun is the entertainment platform ZYNC, offering streaming, gaming, and news. Not to mention, there are music apps such as Apple Music and Spotify and access to video gaming through Antstream Arcade. 